Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ron. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to review a mount that uh, I've found that uh, I use way more than I probably anticipated I was going to and that is the Dango design mount. Specifically here I have it with my uh, my GoPro Hero 8. In the UTV more often than not this is exactly what you see me capturing with so just like like so you know there's no accounting for for style but that's kind of the way it is when you're shooting video. I like the mount a lot as I say I use it way more than I anticipated. It is actually really nice for catching footage in a position that you would not at first glance think that you would be able to get a shot from. Say you wanted to get shots of uh, of uh, you know backing up a truck or something just like that. See it right there? You know a simple shot like that takes you 30 seconds literally clamp it on and you're good to go. And that's what is so convenient with with this mount. So as far as the mount itself, it's you know basically a plastic mount. It has uh, springs, you know, for the uh, for the clamping. It has quite a bit of clamping force. A uh, surprising amount of clamping force, actually. It has little rubber uh, on the top. It has soft rubber teeth for its gripping and then on the bottom it's hard plastic teeth. Even on that ball cap that I showed you a little bit ago it grips quite well. It doesn't move much. It moves a little bit vertically due to there not being a lot of material on that ball cap. That said even in footage where I know for a fact that mount has moved up and down on that hat it really hasn't shown up on video now that a lot of that can be credited to the hero 8's really good uh, uh, stability uh, stabilization you know it's it's worth pointing out not really a big deal it probably wasn't meant to be riding uh, mounted to a baseball cap in a UTV doing 30, 40 miles per hour. That probably wasn't in its intended purpose. More than likely, the reality of it is it was intended to be mounted to a, a helmet, you know, on the, the nose piece or maybe on the visor. I don't think, I personally haven't had very good luck hooking it on a visor. I think that the, the plastic is a little too slick. It just doesn't grab very well there my my personal findings so your helmet it might work better maybe if you had like a matte finish or something like that i don't know another cool feature on the dango design mount is that the mount itself can be rotated in 90 degree increments in the future it would be cool to see them add the ability to maybe adjust it in 45 degree increments just to give even more shooting opportunities when you're using this mount. This could potentially mitigate some complaints I have that I'll go uh, into later on in the video. The complaints. I do have a couple of complaints with this mount. Partially because it, uh, the price of this mount is $50. It's $50 for the mount and then it's another like $8 for the additional mounts for like quarter 20 and stuff like that which we'll get to in a little bit so specifically with this the main mount itself I'm having trouble with rust on the screw here the thumb screw as I say it's a six month old mount I live in Wisconsin so it's not the driest state on the other hand I haven't even hit winter yet and this thing's already rusting I personally feel like for $50 I sh should see stainless hardware on this that's not going to rust after six months my opinion personally but again like I say if it's if I were paying you know $20 for it 
yeah, I, okay, I guess, I guess that is to be expected. Fifty dollars feels a little steep for to see that. The second issue that I have is with the uh, quarter twenty mount that comes with the additional mount kit. With the quarter twenty mount, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. I like that it's there. It's very, very useful. However, as you'll see in footage that I'll put in here somewhere, there's it's a crapshoot whether or not it lines up with uh, because it, it, they're vertical slices the mounts right. So the same as a GoPro here. I'm, let's see here if this will see how there's little plastic tabs. It it's basically a quarter twenty adapter with those tabs right. And so the problem is is if you're using a quarter twenty, you have to hope that it lines up so that the camera is pointed straight ahead otherwise it's loose and it's going to flop and move around and and there's no way to adjust that out of it and if they would have put either a a turnable screw quarter 20 screw in it or even an additional rubber or plastic uh, screwing piece that allows you to to kind of adjust it to your needs and set your camera where it needs to go, it would make that a heck of a lot more useful, in my opinion. I have mounts that have come with what I'm explaining with the ability to, to adjust up a, a plate that lets you lock your camera in. So I know it's something that they could certainly get. I just wish they had it. So other than that, I really have no other complaints of this camera, this, this mount so far. It served me well for, for six months now. I don't see that changing. We'll see what, what comes if I do end up shooting, uh, riding videos of, you know, varying kinds this winter. It will be interesting to see how it functions so far with uh, while wearing gloves, it's, it is easy to adjust and play with and take on and off. I don't see a reason why this mount is going to let me down. As a matter of fact, I kind of wish I had a second one because it is so versatile for just getting simple shots to add in your, your video. And we all love having more, more footage, in my opinion, is always better. So... At any rate, that's really all I have to say. If you're new to the channel, first of all, thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. To see more of my content, kindly subscribe, hit the notifications, and for any questions you might have, hit me up in the comments section. All right, well, thank you very much. We'll see you later.